Good afternoon everyone, this is Stole You Sweet Roll coming to you with another build tutorial. In today's video, I'll be covering how to build Japanese shoji screen walls, as well as how to do a foundation merge to create a futon and chabudai. Today, my lovely wife will be helping out once again by breaking my camp objects. So, let's get to it. We're going to start today's tutorial with the furniture. First up, we'll be building the futon. To begin, we need to build the platform that the mattress will sit on. For this, I'm using rustic tables. But you can change this or omit it completely in your build. That's entirely up to you. Once our platform is built, go ahead and build a bed as centered as you can on top. Next, remove the table that is not directly supporting the bed, and grab the table that is supporting the bed. Now, we're going to merge the bed into the table using a pressure plate. By standing on the pressure plate and placing the table on top, you can see that the table will jump up while the bed stays in place when we snap the table down. Repeat this process until the bed is merged to the point where the mattress is resting atop the table. Now, let's go ahead and place the bed where it's going to go in our bedroom. Once you've picked a location for it, go ahead and break the table supporting the bed and build another table beside the broken one to finish the platform. Go ahead and repair the broken table, and our bed is ready for the final step. In the next step, we'll be performing a foundation merge. Doing a foundation merge is a bit tricky, but what you need is an area in your camp where the terrain has a decent slope. Place the foundation at the lowest height that it will snap down on the slope. Placement can be a bit tricky here, but once you find the sweet spot, it goes fairly smoothly. Now, you're going to have to position your body real close to the side of the foundation on the downhill side of the slope and grab the foundation at the top. By looking down with your right stick, you'll notice the foundation drops down below the shadow piece. Use this as a guide for alignment because if you merge too far, you'll have to start over. Go ahead and snap the foundation down. If you did everything correct, the foundation should have jumped up just like the table did when you built on the pressure plate. Now all you have to do is repeat this process until everything is in place. Now that you've built your futon, let's set it aside for now. Moving on, let's build our chabudai. This is fairly easy to do once you understand the process of foundation merging. We'll start by building any standard height table. In this case, I'm using rustic tables again. Once you build your table, go ahead and place chairs around the table. To get that cushion look, just use an ottoman, bench, or backless stool. This step is completely up to you. In this case, I'm using a few ottomans. Go ahead and do another foundation merge to drop it to the proper height.
Now, let's set this aside and move on to the Shoji screen walls. We're going to start by building two foundations back to back. Then we're going to build four of the best walls in the game. Barn halves, face to face, and two stacks of two using PvP or a flame trap to get them to snap facing each other. Once they're built and broken, we're going to leave them in that state for now. Next, we're going to remove one foundation and slide the other outwards. Be sure to keep a placeholder that you can snap back to later. Now, depending on how far out you move the foundation, this will impact the look of your finished product depending on what wall you choose to merge in. You'll have to play around with this because there's so much variety that you can do here. Once the foundation is in, you can build the wall you want to merge in as a doorway. Now, remove the floor supporting the doorway, and repeat the process on the other side if you want these to be double-sided. Bear in mind, each double-sided shoji is 1.2% of your overall build budget, so plan your build accordingly. Now that your walls are built, go ahead and repair the halves, and move the foundation back to center, and add white wallpaper to the halves. With the replace option, you can add lighting and change the design of the framing. Here are a few examples of different designs you can make with this method. On a side note, if you're building these walls at a corner, you'll have to build the side wall first before snapping in the inner offset wall. Or you could build the side wall on the exterior side of the foundation. Forward planning goes a long way here and will save headache in the long run. Now, let's go ahead and snap our foundations we merged earlier in place and take a look at how the techniques we learned today look together. Spectacular. And, with that, it's getting to be that time again. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you like what I'm doing here, be sure to leave a comment down below and like this video. And, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss future build tutorials and showcases. Once again, I appreciate all of your support. So, until next time, this is Stole Your Sweet Roll, signing off. Have a wonderful day, and happy building.